Now, he says here, verse 12 and 13, I saw the dead, great and the small, standing before the throne. The books were open. Sure, you're going to be able to get a fair trial there, friends. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of the things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead that were in it. And death and Hades gave up the dead that were in him. And they were judged, every one, according to their works. My friend, may I say to you, your life is on tape. And he happens to have the tape. And when he plays it back, you're going to be able to listen to it. And it's not going to sound good to you by any means. Are you willing to stand before God and have him to play the tape of your life? And also, I think he'll have it on television there for you so you can see it, too. Do you think that your life can stand the test? I don't know about you, but I couldn't make it. Thank God for the grace of God. That's the only way. Now, John says here, the dead are classified as the small and the great. They're all lost, for evidently none have their names written in the book of life. They had never turned to God for salvation. And the Lord Jesus said that in his generation, ye will not come to me that you may have life. These had not come. And there are books which record the works of all individuals. God keeps the tapes, and he'll play them at the right time. And I want to tell you that there are a lot of politicians that are going to have their tapes played in that day. And there are going to be a lot of us preachers that will have our tapes played in that day. And I want to tell you, we're not going to be happy about it at all. But if you're saved, you don't go before this judgment. Your works are to be judged as a child of God at the judgment seat of Christ, which took place during the Great Tribulation. This is the judgment of the lost. The Lord Jesus said, You'll not come to me that you might have life. And these didn't come. And multitudes want to be judged according to their works. And this is their opportunity. The judgment is just, but no one is saved by works. The sea gave up the dead that were in it. Multitudes have gone to a watery grave in which the chemicals of their bodies have been dissolved in the waters of the sea. And you say, how can it be raised? Because some of it's in the Atlantic and some's in the Pacific. Well, God will have no problem with that. After all, they're only atoms. He just has to put them back together. Again, he did it once. He can do it again. The graves on earth will give up their bodies. And Hades, the place where the spirits of the lost go, will disgorge for this judgment. And it's a frightful judgment.